Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to start off with the babies. If we can see any. Let's have a look. There's one down, two down there. Uh, it is harder to find them in this lighting. But they do typically tend to be more active with the lower light than with the light what's on the fish tank. Yeah, as you see, I have it re-swapped around. This light does seem better for him, it's less intense. So these highs today are three weeks old. Um, obviously because they're not in a proper aquarium, they're in a makeshift one in this tub. I do actually get the shot glass and this one's broke but the one what the blood worms are in are their feeding shot glasses and I'll scoop one up and have a look. I usually put it on the windowsill and that really allows me to have a look how the fins are developing, how the swim bladder is developing and everything. Uh, I don't do it every day, I tend to do it every couple of days, or a few days really. Um, and it just gives me an idea, and I, because I don't typically see them from side on, I can get a really good sense of how they're growing. But anyway, let's get into the main part of this video. I have a new food I've been testing out, and I just want to give you some of my opinions so far so let's head to the video and i hope you all enjoy it so the first part of today's video is trying these out again now i've seen these all on facebook especially in better groups and people seem to absolutely love them Now, I have tried it, and um, I'm going to try it again. You know, I like to try things a couple of times before giving my proper feedback. But I'm just going to give you my initial feedback. So, I like the idea, I like the concept. You stick it onto your glass and your fish pick away at it all day. Um, good if you're working and you've got, you know you've got a busy couple of days, maybe you're working late and you know you're not going to have time for the two small feeds. So it really allows them to feed more naturally by picking and grazing throughout the day. Love that idea. But then I put it in. Uh, tiny little tablets as you can see there, again, no problem. But then you put it in. So let's just stick it in. Now, due to my previous feeding of this, I know to stick it further down the tank. I stuck it about there last time. So I just rolling up my sleeves. So I'll let you just hold it and it's on. Now put this lid back. Oh god. Sorry fishies. Back on. And the light back. So they all know food is there. But these guys do not seem to care about it. Oh, Amethyst has found it. Maybe it will because something new. Oh, Amethyst is eating it now. But if I take it to the tank downstairs, because uh, I tried it there as well, um, by the way, excuse the cloudiness of the water, I've literally just done a water change. So everything's kind of stirred up. 
always trying it now. I do like the way bait fish hunt. It is kind of cool. But, uh, where were I? Oh, yeah. But in my uh, opinion, I find these are better for cory cats or shrimp. The shrimp downstairs uh, really stuck in, got stuck into it. The cory cats, as you can see, they love it. And I know they did a few other flavours. Uh, or you can get a few other flavours. This Aqua Shark, it uh, has shrimp and plankton flavour. Uh, which actually, the ingredients is kind of annoying me. So you think a shrimp and plankton fish food shrimp and plankton would be if i were to create fish food would be the first ingredients on the list this is about this is three and four on the list well three four five because krill is a crustacean like shrimp too so i would do it like shrimp plankton krill and then put fish protein, fish meal. Which again, as I said, fish meal can be anything. Anything. It can be all the guts. It can be casts off. It can be wa uh, waste products of like making fish fingers and things. But I've been talking for about three minutes and... Still nothing. I mean, we've seen Amethyst have a nibble, and we've seen the Corys have a nibble, but the other fish aren't bothered by it. I mean, luckily these are. Oh, sorry, I'm tilting it. Luckily these are only about three pound fifty a packet, so. Even if it's just core cat food, fine. Another thing, you see there, there is a lot of dust. Uh, a lot, a lot of dust. Which, I don't know if these are pressed or baked, but they pressed it kind of shows me they're not being pressed enough. Um, I know with algae wafers, I always get a little bit of um, dust in the bottom, algae dust, which don't bother me. But it's never anywhere near as much as this. Um, but yeah, just because everybody were raving about him and saying, oh, all my fish go mental over him, I love him, I thought I'd give it a try. I mean, at three pound fifty for a hundred grams, it's not that bad. And obviously, it's not a daily feed; it's two to three times a week. I'm probably, after today, going to feed once a week. But I just want to show you the mess it can make on the tank downstairs. So these guys are waiting to be fed, but just there, that ring, uh, that's what I'm on about when I said it can make a mess of your glass but as you can actually see where is it as you can see there there's some like tiny little worms in there um, I can't remember what type of worms they are but they are micro life and beneficial to the tank so it's focusing so I don't actually mind the worms being there but these eyes are just waiting to be fed. And for the barb upstairs as well, he is going to have some, he or she, is going to have some blood worms um, because he's, it's lost quite a little bit of weight. So, so I just want to feed these guys a few worms in there. And these 
are happy. So to the goldfish. The third garden is coming up really long. And this one is going to put one in. And then we'll plot it down and the goldfish will find it. Just have a look, look here. The wall has been rebuilt. Uh, I have a little bit more digging over to do. I think the grass is coming today. I broke my finding it. But the fault not broken. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to also add some rabbit poo as well to help fertilise and then water the grass as long as it doesn't rain every day. The little tiny herb garden, the bronze venom, is now coming up and growing rapidly. The thyme, it does have new growth, same with the oregano, and the lavender has loads of new growth. Um, I'm going to water that in a bit, but I'm just going to go feed the bob upstairs now. So I've got a few worms in here. Like I said, with the algae tablets, they don't really bother with them. I'm drying out the rocks, so I'm going to put them under the wall. And if this is out, wait a minute. This isn't going no worms. Blood worms is something I don't typically feed a whole lot. Um, did I say Grindel or Blood? Because I meant Blood Worms. Um, I've just got these for when the babies are... Come on, little man. No, he's uh, No, I don't want him. Um, but he'll find them. The barb has just eaten one. Um, much like how people feed grindle worms, I tend to feed blood worms as a treat. Uh, they need to gain weight. Like the barb, they're good for that. Um, I don't really feed them too often. So, I don't think Amethyst has actually ever had them while being with me. And I've had him for about eight months. <laughs> so, it's a little bit different. Uh, I typically tend to feed more Daphne or brown shrimp. Although I don't really buy brown shrimp anymore, I just stick with Daphne. Um, but yeah, that's a bit of a feeding video. Um, obviously the corals will eat anything they don't find, they'll pick throughout the day and I'll see how that goes. If it's in there tomorrow morning I'm going to take it out uh, because I don't want it to start rotting and polluting my water. I'm not really too bothered if Amethyst misses a day on feeding. I know a lot of people do fast once a week and do it a lot, lot less than that. Uh, maybe about once a month. I won't feed a tank for a day um, and then 
the typical scene okay now I'm still waiting for my Daphne to arrive but when they do I'm going to put some into this tank I'm going to put some into the tank downstairs I'm going to put some into the pond and then some into the babies and again they'll breed especially in the pond they'll breed and it'll be a constant supply of my food for the tadpoles and the goldfish. Um, it'll be live food for these, it'll be live food for downstairs and for the babies as well. It's a bit sulky today. I'm still not convinced by these. Um, I want to use them until they're used up and then I'm probably not going to buy again I'm just going to stick to Rupashi and algae wafers anyway so that's it for fish today guys and I will see you all next time so whilst editing this don't know why all this water is still so cloudy uh, settle down. Gotta say a big thumbs down for this food. Maybe the babies will enjoy it when they get older. I don't know. But after today, as you can see, there is no interest from the Cobra Cats today. No interest from anything. You saw Amethyst have a little nibble. But I don't think I'm going to bother anymore. So when the babies are old enough, I'm going to try them with it. Especially when I have the soror sorority uh, bit going on with all the females growing up together. But apart from that, that'll be the last time I try it. Uh, the corys can just have a mix again of algae wafers and ripasha. Uh, it was worth a try, like I said, I've seen a lot of people rave about it. These guys are so funny. They'll sleep for about two minutes and then they'll just fly around. But I just wanted to let you know my full opinion now. I don't like these. Your fish might, I mean, like I always say, it's always down. Hi, boy. It's always down to your own personal preference and your fish's preference. So if you feed these and your fish enjoys them, that's fantastic. Oh, just as I said that, amethyst takes a nibble. Hmm. Though it's not like he usually is with food. Normally he's that hum gone. I mean he took a mouthful and now he's back up at the top. And there's a couple of blood worms still there which they've not found. So I might take them out later as well. But there's just not enough interest with them. Like you saw when I put Rapashi in, the white clouds, the barbs, the guppy. The Cora cats are pretty much straight away on it, they're interested. And for how stinky these are, I find the more a food stinks, the more your fish will like it. It sounds weird, but it tends to be true. They just, yeah, not a fan. So, once again, I will see you all in the next video, guys. Stay safe and I hope you are using this isolation period as a chance to learn new skills, try something new and if you don't have the opportunity to do that because you're working, I'd like to say a great big thank you to anybody out there who is a key worker. Bye guys.